car inventory continues to rise, hits 1.61 million, and the used car market is projected to crash. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Welcome to another great edition of the Homework Guy Show. I'm here today with the logical, methodical, clear-thinking, amazing Elizabeth. <laughs> well, thanks, Kevin. So complimentary. Well, folks, as Kevin said, U.S. car inventory grew by another 150,000 vehicles last month to reach 1.61 million, giving dealers their best supply of new vehicles all year going into the last few weeks of 2022. Slowing sales helped inventory levels recover to 1.32 million vehicles last September, a significant jump over where they were a year earlier, but still historically low, according to Cox Automotive and the Automotive News Research and Data Center. When the number jumped to 1.56 million in late November, we got excited. We knew we'd see another jump before the year ended, and we were not disappointed. <laughs> Cox said this latest figure, the highest mark since June 2021, was nearly a half million vehicles higher than where inventory stood at the same point last year. But inventory remained more than 1.74 million vehicles down from the same month in 2019, before the pandemic when car inventory numbers were at 3.35 million. Mass market and luxury brand inventories collectively rose from the previous month, Cox said. Within individual segments, stocks of compact and mid-sized cars remain tight, along with minivans and electrified vehicles, while selections were best among full-size pickups and high-end luxury cars. Among automakers still reporting monthly sales and inventory figures, five saw their day's supply increase, with Ford Motor Companies climbing the most. As many of you recall, we've been advising you to stay out of the car market until June of 2023. There's a reason why, and I'll share that in just a moment. It seems that many car buyers have been following our advice because the 2022 closed a very disappointing year for car dealers, and the headlines have read, feeling empty as sales <laughs> wrap up the worst year since 2012. Yeah. Now, here's why we said to wait until June 2023. Car inventories were at 3.35 million prior to the pandemic in 2020. There were plenty of cars and inventory to create a true buyer's market, and it made dealers more than willing to wheel and deal on car prices, fees, and add-ons. Yes. Here's an inventory fact update. We'll never reach the level of 3.35 million ever again. Never again, why? Manufacturers saw by your willingness to buy whatever they offered that they didn't need to flood the market with cars anymore. They cut workers and shifts and set lower goals for car production. So the reason we are saying to wait until June, 2023 is because it will take about that long for car inventories to exceed 2 million cars. There's the magic number, folks. Yes, there is magic in those numbers. Yeah. Liz has this exactly right. This past year, if you recall, by late February of 2022, reports showed car inventories were at 1.04 million as of the close of January. That's 2.31 million cars short of the healthy car inventory. It was a terrible time to get a good car deal. Then on July 11th, car inventories had only come up to 1.1 million, crawling towards recovery at a snail's pace. Not much progress and car prices stagnated. Then the October 14th report came out and September inventory numbers were up to 1.32 million. That was a huge jump, 220,000 more cars. As Cox Automotive reported, this represented a 42 day supply of cars. That was more good news. As the car inventory started climbing faster, we received more and more below MSRP deal reports. Like our viewer Greg reported, yep, starting to see $10,000 below MSRP TV advertisements. That's just the beginning, indeed, Greg, and there's a lot more to come. This viewer, I Eat Meat, also reported, I can't say that. <laughs> That's awesome. One of our carnivore viewers, I Eat Meat, reports, bought a vehicle in October, 2500 below MSRP, 3.9% APR right on meat eater, I Eat Meat too. Well, enough about food. <laughs> now on the heels of all these other inventory improvements, the latest inventory shows 1.61 million. That's up 290,000 cars in just three short months, folks. If that continues, and we believe it will, add 290,000 to the current numbers and you have 1.9 million vehicles in inventory by the end of March. And yes, there will be more good car deals when that happens. And then in 90 more days, 2.19 million vehicles in inventory by the end of June. 2.19 million vehicles in inventory will essentially cap out where the max inventory levels will go and enough to drive down prices everywhere. MSRP will not go down, but manufacturer rebates and dealer cash will return in substantially higher amounts as new cars moving off dealer lots become slower 
and we have as close to possible as a near normal return to a car market. 3.35 million cars won't ever happen again, folks, but 2.19 million cars in inventory more than does it. This should make a ton of sense to anyone who gets the data, recognizes the math and how to do a projection, and realizes just how well thought out and smart this forecast is. You might also note that it's not based on hype, designed to trigger car buyer emotions. And there's enough of car buyer emotions out there. Oh, yeah. I hope you seeing this evidence encourages you savvy car buyers to wait if you're still on the fence. Of course, a few of you will find a few good car deals as inventories keep trending up. But the real smartest deals are waiting for the car inventory to hit 2.1 million as we just laid out. Now, if you happen to be in the used car market in just a few days, so hang in there and be patient. We're going to share with you a very exciting phenomena happening in the used car market. We mentioned a used car market crash is coming back in the beginning, and a full report on that is coming up on Tuesday. So if you're in the market for a used car, hang tight, hold on to your money, wait until Tuesday's show. You'll love what we have to share. They sure will. I'm proud to say that many of you are proving that you're not the typical fickle and emotional car buyer, and you want to follow a logical, methodical car buying process like we teach. By doing so, you are part of helping us fix the car business. So if you haven't already done so and you're out car shopping, make sure you check out our playlist, THG's Savvy Car Buyers Homework Cram Session. And then could I ask you to do us a favor? If you're on Facebook, could you visit our page, leave us a comment and a review and share what you've learned from us on the Homework Guy channel? Could you do that for me? Also think about stopping by our website, thehomeworkguy.com. There are tons of free tools for car buyers there right now. And Kevin keeps adding more improvements daily. The free car buyers guide is there along with so much more that you'll just have to check it out yourself. Nobody on YouTube does more to help and advocate for car buyers than we do, nobody. We've given you guys 13 years of our lives on YouTube, folks. It's been an unbelievable journey for us. By the way, we did put together some new merch and it's on our merch shelf down below the video. If you want to support our channel and help get the message out to others, check out the new merch, get suited up and help get the word out. If you'd like to show us some gratitude for producing great videos like this one today, the links for tips appearing in the screen will be easy to find in the description box down below. PayPal, Cash App, and of course Venmo. In response to anyone wondering why we chose to offer the tip links here at THG, I can tell you that the idea came directly from our viewing audience. Generous people asked us for a way to donate to support our mission. We offered PayPal at first and then other viewers requested. We also add Cash App and Venmo because they are popular forms of payment. We have learned to like it because your voluntary tips do provide a good indicator to tell us how much you appreciate what we do. And you guys must appreciate it a lot because a lot of tips have been rolling on. And even better yet, we have been converting your tips into more free services for our viewers. But no problem if you can't do a tip. If that's not an option for you, show your thanks by recommending our videos to your friends and family. I also want to remind our viewers about our very generous offer for free car buying assistance. And that has been going extremely well. Any viewer who has contacted us would tell you that you don't have to blow your hard-earned cash on a paid car club membership. Just send us a text at 701-441-3399 with your name and we'll be in touch with you. By the way, there's no problem with you contacting us months beforehand. We can make you almost bulletproof in that time frame. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Once again, we're still earning your trust. See you next time. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.